Hey there, everybody. This video is going to show you guys and girls how to save more parts. Now, I've been asked in the past by a subscriber or a viewer of my channel to make a clip on how to do so. So this is your clip showing you how to save more part and get two payments. One from him, one from the priestess. Okay, so you get into the garden. First thing you want to do is get away from this main building and go to the smaller one. And here's how you're going to do it. Go down where the column's leaning against the wall. Turn left. Kill any wolves. And head for the water. Cross the little bridge. Now this is a pain in the neck mission for new gamers, but us pro gamers have played this game a few times. We always kill Morgfar, but we rarely save them. So this is a rare video as far as coming from me on my channel. Now what you want to do is just play games with each, each lever. If nothing happens, hit one lever twice. That will offset the, the balance of the combination to open the gate. My objective here is to open the gate on the left, right in front of me, the little gate. Behind that gate is a small building where he was held captive till he'd shoot his leg off. So I'm looking to the right. That'll be the second gate to get, but not right now. I'm looking to see if anything happens. Nothing's moving there. So the first gate that's going to open will be the little one in front of you. But I've noticed nothing's happening. So I'm going to hit the right gate here twice. See how I went back? This will change the combination. There it goes. Didn't even need to hit the left gate. So you want to go in, go to the little building. So you go in, check the chain and see a severe leg, and then it'll start the cutscene. Mark Varga is going to come in. So I'm going to remove most of this in my editing and get to the point with them. You don't really say you're going to kill him yet. Don't even bother. But he's going to, you're going to fight him anyway. It doesn't matter what you say. So he's going to rant and rave and say that people come here trying to kill him, and none of them did. I shredded them, washed them to bits, made tiny crumbs. There's the skulls. I think that's his uh, shipmates. Story have a point. We're just doing so no hurry to kill him, because either way he's going to come back alive. He's going to attack in a second. So he's going to star forever. So I'm, I'm on medium bit difficulty, so this guy's going to go down quick. I'm on sword and story. No whales, no dakotas needed. Take him out. 
now. Here he's going to offer you a reward if you cure him. It's the curse. Uh, makes me bite. Uh, scratch. Mango. Uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me. And so my plan, if I do save him, is to collect his reward and get another reward from the priestesses. Undo the curse. Free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. So you just say farewell. Neither way he dies. Farewell. See you soon. And he'll leave you his stuff, his remains. Get it. Need it for the cushion. So now you want to go back to the water. Climb up, go over to the little levers that work the gates. And you want to open the other gate. Not the left one's been open. It's pretty much a given. Floodgates open, but nothing's happening. Same thing. Left, right, left, right. Now you're going to see it come up on the right-hand side. This is for you new gamers. The people who play this game a couple of times know this. Here I can't get my avatar, my controller slipping all over the place, but the spot to activate it. Open, so it's annoying. Happening. And there it is. The gate's up. Go into the cave. I'm going to put on my torch. And right up here on the right hand side, a little chest, make sure you hit it. And you want to get the key right here in all the bones. So you're going to get that key. And you're coming back out of the cave, underwater, go back out. And now, you need to leave Freya's garden. You don't go anywhere near Mork Park. Now here out of habit, I go right back to him, but I have no need to. Probably trying to shut it. You don't want to go to the cave. No, I do not have a clue here. There's what I'm doing. I'm opening up the little gate so I can cut through. You can do it that way or you can go around the long way and climb up the leaning column. So from here, I'm going to retrace my steps, go back down to the fast travel point by Freya's garden. For some odd reason, I'm coming inside here to look. No need to. Well, I'm just making sure that this is the right building. This is the little shed. It's not the big one where you're going to find his journal. Just checking. So what you want to do from the little house, you don't even need to go there like I did. Go through the wooden gate here. Remember, you have the key now. And you're going to head to the big house. To do that, you head to the place you came in, the first place you saw Mork Park. The main gate, it will not open. You will never open that gate. Kill all the wolves. I'm 
not even bothering looting them. Go along the wall. There's the main gate, the one you can't open. All you gotta do is turn around, go up the steps, jump across the gap, and you're at the main house. Simply go in and unlock the two back doors. One on the left. Right there's his journal. That's what you want. Now that you have the journal, you leave Freya's garden. Swing to the left as you go out. And you're going to find the cave where the priestess is. You're going to ask her about Morg Park. Greetings. Can I have a word? I am here to serve pilgrims who have come to venerate the goddess. Mine's more an earthly matter. What is it? Where it is, you've got a problem. Now you want to watch my dialogue right here because you got to be careful with them. How you approach it? And you will greatly please the goddess. That's nice and all, but coins what pleases me. You look the type. Fret not, I shall pay. But only if you rid us of Morkvarg, once and for all. There have been those who have killed Morkvarg, but a curse has brought him back each time. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morgvarg. What is it exactly? Not what, who. Not what, who. Has ever known. Nah, he's just a rough in Skellige. I guarantee Crack could rip off his head with his own hand. And Hallmar, he didn't him like bacon. This guy ain't nobody. And besides, in the Skelligays, only the strong survive. Somebody stronger than, than Morkvark will kill him. Guaranteed. So I'm not falling for the CD Project urge to, to kill Morkvark because he killed children when they want you in the which is a Crookback Bog to kill the children out of Downhorn and let them keep killing the children. I don't do that. So in this case here with Morkvark, I'm going to let the people and their manners take care of themselves. I have all the faith in Crack in Hallmark. Just let him go up there. Morgvark. He'll be done. Yeah, werewolf. I know not. I, I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him. Help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morgvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim. So she's going to send you into town to see the sun. Settled in Larvik. You'll find him or so she thinks. Provided he's not at sea. To get more information on Morkbar. That's going to be your next step. Farewell. The goddess protect you from all evil. You who granted Just before the village, you go down to the water. You're going to find this guy was one of Morkbar's raiders. So he's a killer too. So I'm going to be new to this. I'm going to go through all the dialogue options. All you have to do is say liar. You're a you, Dimwit. Drop one more and I'll kill all you. Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs for the hunter's son. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, so them's your apples. All right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. 
but she didn't give a lick about the So the priestesses used to be in Freya's garden itself. Then Morkbark and this guy and the rest of the gang raided them and sent them to the cave, which is kind of crazy. Either way, I'm going to save Morkbark. For the simple reason that witches don't meddle in the ways of man. And I'm going to get two rewards. So I listen to all this guy's dialogue. And finally he's going to give me a little tooth, a fang. You're going to call him out eventually. Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin. And his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. This guy don't have to drown in the seas. Almar and Croc will chain him to a rock, and the sirens will eat him. Such is the Great Mother's power. That's the end he deserves. The priestesses, why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that. Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. Are you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. So here it is. Call him a liar. What? I swear it on the great mother's tits. Cut the act. Don't buy your piety one bit. You were one of Morkvog's men. Well, well. Sharp yarn. Didn't see one thing, though. Lads here around me. They're mine. Armed to the teeth to the man. Let me introduce you. This guy doesn't have a clue. You start a fight with Gerald, all you're gonna die. Didn't come here to bring you the justice. Digging up the past? What's that for? So I'm gonna have Geralt be a nice witcher. No fights. Why would you bloody do that? You could probably kill this guy and his man and then take the fang from him. But I'm gonna be a nice witcher here. It's what I do. Used to say the same myself. Till Morkvog gave the order to sail for Hindisfjall. I raided often and cruelly. Killed women, children, whatever my axe happened to hit. The priestesses. It was too much, even for me. When... When it was over, Morkvog was drinking with the rest. I took this out. Wolfang pendant. Covered in runes. I got it from my dog, who was God I am. Now you're gonna give this flag, excuse me, this bang pendant to Mork Barb. You're not gonna feed him his own meat. Your pop up mentioned how to reverse this. Victim needs to get the fang is all. But I'll not give it to you. That horse son should suffer. Listen, the priestesses, they really long to get their garden back. And as I see it, you owe them, don't you think? All right, take it. But it don't come free. One and there it is, you've got it. Won't tell anyone about your past, give you my word. Not that. If you do, I'll just find you and kill you. Now it's time to say out of you. I'm out of here. You can't let him leave. No matter what. So next you go back to Freya's garden, go back to the water, go back to the little winches that change the floodgates. This time you go up to the cave. Now this time you're going to kill Morkbar again. Key. Where's the key? Oh, I have the chapter house. 
Where's the key? Uh, why so silent? Robert, you fake, you rogue, you uh, uh, poor son. Uh, uh, let's pass that. I will find the key without you. It's yet stupid prick. So it's time. Put the whack on him. I'm not even using any whirlwolf to coasting. No potions, no nothing. Sword and story difficulty. Easy prey. Now this time you're going to give him the fang. Don't be a smart ass, do it. Now you can kill this guy now if you want to. Me, I'm gonna let him live. He's just practice for Hallmar and Croc. Because you know the Skelligos take care of their own problems. They don't need anybody's help. So I let him go. Remember, witches do not meddle in the ways of men. And besides, Gallagher takes care of its rats. I don't expect him to have a long life. So, now on to the rewards. He's going to go eat a side of beef. First, you go to this pawn shop in Novograd. Yeah, it has a pawn shop. I never knew. And this guy's going to slip you some money and say he never met Park. Either way, nobody must like this guy. See, he's looking around. Going to slip you some gold. Now, I didn't shop with this guy. I really should have. I gotta check this store out. Then back to the priestesses in Freya's Garden Cave, and she's gonna pay you too. So there it is. To save more Bart, Croc and Alma are most likely kill him. No big deal. And you've got two rewards. And for the first time in many times of playing this game, I actually saved the werewolf. I did not kill him. I'll be seeing you guys, girls, next video, and remember, to them. Keep on gaming.